Raiders, baby! Yeah! Yes, sir! Yeah. There's a chase right there! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Yes, sir! That's what we doing, baby! Good job, everybody. Good job. Good job. Good job, Hey, I'm JT McGee with NASCAR now. Uh, we're here at the finish playing here with the one and only Scooter McGavick Hunter. How'd we do today, bud? What do you think? How are you feeling right now? Man, I feel great, cuz. I mean, you know, I just I can't say enough about this crew, man. We worked hard all day, and, you know, uh, funny thing is, man, when I'm on the 10th Ricky called me up, man. Dash I know, his name was still on the truck. I don't yeah. know if that's the last minute decision, or what were you up to when he called you? Well, you know, I was actually racing lawnmower down there in old uh, El Cerro Gordo. And, uh, man, next thing I know, he called me up, and they said, man, you want to fill up a team? He's sitting. I said, yeah, well, sure, why not? You know? Wow, that's a hell of a story. I tell you, that's great. That really is good. Now, take me back at that last pit stop. Uh, what were you thinking? Were your spider and you were having some problems there? Yeah, boy, we was coming around that turn there on Oleander. And uh, I was coming back through, man, getting on Rice Avenue. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> next thing I know, <laughs> next thing I know, man, Jack Sprague just come oh. out of nowhere, man. And, you know, he... I thought he, I thought he was gonna go high, man. The spotter told me I had, I uh, was good low. And, uh, yeah. But man, Ed, next thing I know, man, you know, I clipped him. That was it, man. I hate for them guys. They had a good car all day. Yeah, I noticed you coming out on turn three. You got, you got Jack Sprague quite a bit there. I don't know if you were trying to go hello or he was trying to go high or. Yeah, I remember, man. We was coming through now. We was coming up that damn country club, man. And uh, just, uh, I guess Jimmy Williamson down there, store 45, was spotter. You know, I don't know where Ricky pulls these guys from, but man, you know, I mean, they just stab at him or nothing, man. But you know, he said I was clear low, so Woo! I started to come on down. And next thing you know, I clipped him, man. I hate it, though. Well, I tell you what, uh, you sure got a pocket full of money. I know it didn't look like you're very used to being in Victory Lane. What what, what, what was the problem of getting here? <laughs> well, I, I ain't never been here before, you know. I had to stop to ask Rex twice, you know. <laughs> you know, finally, uh, finally brought Horton here to come out to here. Congratulations. What an interesting day, I tell you. And uh, back to uh, Jimmy uh, on the spotter situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what exactly do you have plans now? I mean, are you going to continue to drive the car? Uh, what are you going to do with your money? What are you going to do with, with, first with thing, your winnings? First thing I want to do is thank Mountain Dew so I can get rid of this bottle. But uh, secondly, man, the first winnings, I'm going to go out there. Ricky always said, man, everybody deserves a steak. I agree with you there. I'm with you. So I'm going to go down there to West of Sizzling. I'm going to buy me a bag of steak because you want steak to your cameraman. Oh, we make it rain. Oh, congratulations. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Back to you, JW. Corn, we did it.